All right, so, that's, so we're doing one eight here. Again, another quantitative data section. We're looking at box plots and outliers. So box plots are what you might refer to as box and whisker plots. And then we're going to focus more on outliers and actually how to determine if something is an outlier versus just saying, ah, oh, that looks less than most of the data or greater than most of the data. So I think it's an outlier. All right, so um, when you make a box plot, you need what's called the five number summary. And those five numbers are the minimum, first quartile, median, third quartile, and maximum. These are the five numbers you need. Now, when we put this into the uh, stats applet, you will get those five numbers in the summary statistics. So no worries there. It'll calculate it for you. So now, uh, once you get those, you can make what's called the box plot or the box and plot. And again, it's the Visual representation of the five number summary. Now, one caution to make box plots don't show peaks, clusters, or gaps. So if you notice here, look at this dot plot of the raw data. Notice that most of your data is on the far ends, and you really have this like empty hole in the middle. Versus here, when you look at a box plot, we like to look at this box as where we think most of the data is, but in reality, most of the data is in these whiskers, but again, it doesn't look that way on the box plot. So be aware, uh, be careful of how the box plot is looking. Now, uh, again, there are five key numbers. So this is the minimum or the smallest value. Uh, this is quartile one, the first quartile. This is the median, which is considered the second quartile. This is Q3, the third quartile, and this is your maximum. Remember that between each important value is 25% of the data. So this is 25%. So in here is 25% between the first quartile and median. Then you have 25% right there. Uh, again, this median, there's a line there. You probably can't see it. And then there's 25% here. And there's your 100% 100 of the data. And then remember in this box is the IQR. So remember the IQR is the middle 50%. And last but not least, as we're talking about outliers, uh, so in your box plots, if you see a point out to the side, sometimes it's an asterisk or a point, uh, those are considered your outliers. And again, the stats applet does a good job of identifying them for you, but I'm going to make you kind of go above and beyond and show me why it is an outlier or not. And the way you're going to show me is by using this uh, 1.5 times IQR rule. So this rule is what we're going to use. So again, it's right here and right here. These two inequalities are how you figure out whether you have a low outlier or a high outlier. You are going to have a low outlier if any of your data values are less than the first quartile minus one and a half times the IQR. Remember that the IQR is Q3 minus Q1. So your summary statistics will have all that. And again, you will uh, plug this into the calculator, find this number. If any of your data values are less than this number, they are considered low outliers. You do the same thing on the other end of the box plot with the third quartile. This time you add 1.5 times the IQR. You'll get this high number. If any of your data values are above that number, then it's a high outlier. Again, when you identify outliers, three things. Number one, uh, if it's an outlier, it might just be uh, an accurate data value. Maybe you just mistyped it, so be aware. Number two, it can indicate something remarkable has happened, like a, a big feat, like think of sports. Uh, things like that. And then number three, and I think most importantly, remember that outliers influence the mean and the standard deviation. They also influence the range, but again, we don't really care about the range as much. And again, it's this idea of resistance. Because the mean and standard deviation take into account every single data value, they are not resistant to these outliers. Okay, I'm going to stop the video here, make another video for this long example.